hello again people good day to you all i greet you all in the name of jesus christ of nazareth son of the most high god yes son of almighty god so first of all i like to get right into it i don't waste no time <laughs> so i'm gonna read scriptures right now in Romans chapter 10, Romans chapter 10, verse 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yes, so people, I am telling you to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead and you shall be saved. Yes, and ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart, come into your life, make you a brand new person, brand new creature, brand new creation. And for the Lord Jesus Christ to make your life anew and get saved and be he baptized, repent of your sins, turn from your evil ways, turn unto the Lord God. Yes, let Jesus Christ be your personal savior. And serve only the Lord God Almighty. For the day is near. The day of the Lord is near. Yes, the great and terrible day of the Lord is near. It also says so in Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 14. Verse 14, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasted greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Yes, so it says so in the words of the Lord. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and haste it greatly and i'm telling you it is so true because i just visioned this morning some minutes ago fire dropping from the sky it's like a asteroid Yes, and the Lord God did say that stars will fall from the sky it's in revelation that stars will fall from the sky in the last days in the end times right yes so the lord god did see that and i saw like an asteroid with fire on it falling from the sky to the earth to the earth i'm telling you people i ain't lying that was nerve-wracking to see that <laughs> because i would not want to be on this earth when that happened i mean people are saying don't be scared don't be scared but everyone is gonna be scared people everyone will be nervous or scared one out of them because we are human beings yes i am for christ and you may be for christ that have nothing to do with being nervous or being scared because what we are gonna see and experience everyone will be nervous or scared i guarantee it and the lord god did say there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth okay so if the lord god says there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth that mean we 
are going to be scared. We are going to be nervous because of what will happen. So please stop telling people that, oh, why are you scared? Don't be scared. God's people should not be scared. Yes, we should not be scared and we should not fear anyone nor anything nor the devil nor enemies. I would say that. I would say to you, don't be afraid of anyone nor of anything. Only fear the Lord God. I will tell you to not be fearful nor be dismayed. Because the Lord God said, be not be 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 not afraid nor be dismayed. Yes, don't be afraid nor be dismayed. The Lord God said, He always said, fear not. So fear not. Yes, I will tell you that. Don't be afraid of the enemy. Don't be afraid of any devils. Don't be afraid of Satan. Don't be afraid of anyone nor of anything on this earth nor beneath this earth. Yes. <laughs> on that day though, I know and I believe we all going to be nervous. We all going to be shaking with fear. <laughs> I definitely believe so. And people, forgive me if you are offended by my laugh, but I'm telling you, I like to laugh and laughter is medicine. The Lord God say it, right? So anyway, I I laugh also in stress yeah, because it's it's that's really stressful and I have to laugh. <clears throat> instead of instead of crying, why not laugh? So I I like to laugh especially in times of stress. <laughs> so don't be offended by me laughing, laughing, <clears throat> laughing. You should all laugh more often. You know, it feels good to laugh. So, and laughter breaks stress anyway. So, so stop telling people, oh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous for judgment day. Cause I think we all going to be scared and or be nervous. Or be afraid. One out of them. We, it, it's going to happen for us. Whether you're for Christ or not for Christ. You know because of what's going to happen. And because of what we're going to see. Anyway. Let me tell you what I see now. So I see for the end times. And for the last days. I see today. Um, I see my vision today. Fire. On like an asteroid falling to the earth. The Lord God did say that stars will fall from the sky. Okay. Before the last days. Before the end times. So. I also see. War. Like war is going to happen. I see soldiers. And war. And. My husband just tell me that there there's that war is going to happen like between China and and USA. He says he saw like on the news and I say, yes, the prophecy have to fulfill people. The prophecy have to fulfill. OK, the prophecy have to fulfill. So. What is happening? We can't stop. May the Lord God have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, Lord Jesus. Have mercy upon us and comfort us. Let not our heart be troubled, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Lord God, encourage us, cheer us up. Yes, Lord God. And let us not fear what you don't want us to fear, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God, for answering my prayers. So I can only say that much, people. For God to have mercy upon us and help us to not fear what we should not fear. And for the Lord to com comfort us and encourage us. Because the Lord God says, let not your heart be troubled. So we should not let our heart be troubled. Yes. So I, I can say that much about that day. Yes. So, well, people, I am really <laughs> going to try to do that, to not let my heart be troubled for that day and not, you know, like 
if I should not fear, I hope to God, yeah, I don't fear that day. Even though we're going to be nervous, we're going to be very nervous and shaking. I know that for sure. But the Lord said, let not your heart be troubled. So I am really trying to do my best to let not my heart be troubled for that day. Yes, because what I saw, I'm telling you, that's nerve wracking very nerve-wracking because it 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 was coming to the earth it is coming to the earth i saw it flying to the earth fast so jesus christ shall return very quickly soon and soon i'm telling you it is it is swift and speedily it's it is very soon that's why these things are happening and it's not gonna stop every year it's gonna be a new bad thing of what i say in a video from before yes this year is gonna be better with more good things it's just that every year something bad is gonna happen it's like a new bad thing every year because jesus christ shall re turn the day of the lord is near yes the great and terrible day of the lord is near read revelations people read revelation the revelation of jesus christ read it and you know understand what is about to go down on this earth what will happen and all those things yes so all sorcerers and murderers and fornicators and thieves repent of your sins and turn from your evil ways. If you know anyone like that, tell them to repent of their sins and turn from their evil ways. Yes. See it also talk about brimstone and fire in Revelation. So people read Revelation to get an understanding of what will happen for the end times for the last days. The, the Lord God said there will be wars and rumors of wars. So that's the words of the Lord. The Lord God did say that, and I saw a war happening, and I saw soldiers. And I saw there, the, like, they will also be capturing Christians, like, looking for Christians, taking them like soldiers, um, working for, like, the government or something, because it seemed like they're working for the government. And, um... It's like this new world order thing. This, this, this is like what, what, what is going to happen? Like this, like this new world order thing. Um, you know that that thing. I don't even trust it because that is when it's gonna form up with them trying to stop Christians and you know capture Christians and all kinds of bad things that will happen so I don't trust this new world order thing my goodness Lord Jesus Christ cleanse USA from all evil let not any evil return unto USA cleanse and deliver the people them in USA from all evil let not any evil return unto the people them in USA, Lord Jesus Christ. Wash those people in USA white as snow and make them whole, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, especially the wicked ones. Wash them white as snow, make them whole, cleanse them from all evil. Let not any evil return unto them. Help them to turn to you and be on your side, Lord Jesus Christ. And have mercy upon the people them in, in, in USA, Lord Jesus Christ. Have mercy upon us. All our God, especially those who are in USA, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Lord God, take your people them out of USA before USA mash up and mash down, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Take your people out of that country, Lord God, have mercy upon your people in that country. You say, have mercy upon your people. Lord God, protect your people in USA, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And Lord God, for you can move them out of USA before it mash down and tear up and destroy it. Move them out, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Mm. And who can't move out? who's not moving have mercy upon them and protect them lord jesus christ in you say in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen thank you jesus christ for answering my prayers hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus christ i'm telling you this this is not a good sight to see what's gonna happen what is go going down because it is very nerve-wracking it is very it is it is kind of scary i'm telling you it is very scary for the last days and the end times before the sky burst open and separates i'm telling you it's like all heck gonna broke loose okay it's like all heck gonna broke loose so I am telling you people from now, I'm telling you guys from now, prepare yourself. Be e prepared and be ready. Be prepared and be ready. Okay? Yes. And read the words of the Lord. Read it. Yes. See what the Lord God say right here in Revelation chapter 16, verse 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Okay. Verse 16 says, and he gathered them together into a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. Yes. Yes, Lord God, have mercy. So, the Lord God did tell us the Lord Jesus Christ did say when they're going to capture us his people do not think of what to say when they're going to put you in prison do not think of what to say the Lord God will tell you what to say on the appointed time so just say what the Lord God tell you what to say instead of think of what to say okay these are warnings okay people the prophecy have to fulfill if you have to die for christ die for christ gracefully and thankfully because great is your reward in heaven okay and it is bad for them and it's, it's going to be very bad for them who kill you for Christ. It is very good to be a martyr for Christ and to die for Christ because your reward is in heaven. Yes, the Lord God did tell you that when they persecute you for his name's sake, rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. So... It's going to be a good thing for us anyway for them to persecute us for Christ. Just allow it. Let it happen. For it's a good thing. It's bad for them because anyone who kill us for Christ, they are the ones who will go to, to hell who going to kill people for Christ. So I'm sorry for who, who's going to do that. I'm sorry for those men who is going to do that, thinking they're going to do a right thing because they think they're going to do a right thing. They think it's the right thing to do. But they don't realize 
They are working for the enemy. They are working for Satan. They are doing a wrong thing by looking for Christians and killing them off and putting them in jail and all those things. You know, because they are blindsided. They, they, they don't realize what they're doing, you know. They think they're doing the right thing and they want to obey whom they're working for and they don't even realize that they're working for the enemy. You know, someone who is following Satan, you know, they don't even realize it's the devil using them to do all these things. So it's going to be bad for those people who will do those things to us God's people, you know, the martyrs and, and, and those who they will persecute for Christ. You know, it's good for us. We will go to heaven. God will be <clears throat> uh, preparing a place for us, you know. It's going to be good for us and bad for them who try to kill us and persecute us for Christ. So, we God's people should rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Okay, do like what Paul and Silas do. Praise God in the prison. And before they kill you for Christ, ask the Lord God to have mercy upon them for they know not what they have done. But you can get time to say it, get time to say it. And before they kill you for Christ, ask for forgiveness and mercy for your own self as well. In case you yourself have seen before uh, they kill you for Christ. So ask for their, uh, ask for their mercy for they know not what they have done before dying for christ so because they know not what they have done anyway they are blind spiritually blind i'm telling you they they i their eyes have been covered those soldiers those um people that will be working for the enemy capturing and killing um saints of god christians they are spiritually blind. They don't realize what they're doing. Uh -uh, not at all. May the Lord Jesus cleanse them and have mercy upon them. For they know not what they have done. Yeah. They think we are the problem. <laughs> That's what the enemy will trick them. Saying that we are the problem. You know, because... Okay, Satan knows his time is short, so he's trying to get a lot of God's people as, as, as possible. He's trying to even kill off the babies before they turn preachers and prophets and miracle workers and healers. He don't even want those children to grow up and to bring others to Christ so he's he's even going after babies because he can hardly get the adults you know the enemy the opposer the serpent can hardly get the adults so that's why he's now going after babies because you know babies can hardly uh, do anything to protect themselves anyway. Is God protecting children? Is angels protecting the babies? And the parents also with their prayers uh, protecting babies. So, uh, you know, the babies for them own self is, 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 is not capable to protect their own self. You know, so that's why he's the enemy is even going after them from even in the womb, trying to even kill them from even in the womb. Because, you know, like what the Lord God said, Satan know his time is short. He's in wrath. Okay, but he has already lost. Okay, God have overcome the world. Okay, so no matter what he try, no matter what he have done or is doing, the enemy shall not win. He's already a loser. Jesus Christ is victorious, you know, and, and we can do all things through Christ who strengthen us. 
and we have the victory through Christ Jesus. So people, anyone who is listening to this, any woman who is pregnant, who is listening to this video, pray over your stomach, pray over your belly, pray over your child in the womb from you have a young baby or a toddler any child you have or children you have before seven years old pray over them even if they pass seven years old still pray over them ask the lord god to protect them have mercy upon them and cover them with the blood of jesus christ yes because you as parents you have to do your part in protecting your child even from the womb so if you know anyone who is pregnant, tell them to pray over their baby and to cover the baby with the blood of Jesus Christ. Ask the Lord God to do so and ask the Lord God to cover your child with his harm because we are only protected by the blood of Jesus Christ, the arm of God, the Lord God and his angels. They alone will protect us from the serpent okay we can't protect ourselves we have to be protected by the lord god the host of the lord god the holy spirit of the lord god and jesus christ you know him alone and his army can protect us the lord god and his army alone can protect us and the blood of jesus christ and the armor of god can protect us we can protect ourselves by our own selves okay so let's pray for your children people pray for your baby in the womb yes to be covered by the blood of jesus christ so that's the enemy don't take them nor swipe them from your womb nor from your hands okay and pray for the lord god to protect you yourself to cover you with his blood and with his armor each and every day say it each and every day even if you prayed for one day say lord god do it each and every day in covering me and my child with your blood lord jesus christ and with your armor lord god Pray for your family and your extended family as well. Yes. Can't leave them out neither. Pray for every one of your family and extended family to be cleansed and covered under the blood of Jesus Christ and with the arm of the Lord God. Because that will protect us in the end times. And the Lord God said, it just shall live by faith. So in these last times and in times, we shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. Yes. So don't doubt people. Please do not doubt. You have to live in these times by faith. The end times and the last days, we have to live by faith. True faith and strong faith in the Lord God, Jesus Christ and his Holy Spirit. That's all we should live and that's all we will live to survive and make it in the end times and the last days. Yes. So. That's all we should live. Yes. And the Lord God said he will shorten these days because of the elect's sake okay so these days are getting shorter because of the elect's sake so even with this man forming up this enemy forming up from the mark of the beast even when he's trying to deceive people, even when he's deceiving people, you know, it, it, it he's so strong with the deception that um the Lord God said, if it was possible, if it could be possible, right? He would deceive even the very elect. So that means it is not possible for him to deceive the elect of God. But that's how strong that he will deceive people. 
that if it was possible, he would deceive even the very elect. Okay, the very elect of God. So that means it's not possible for him to deceive the very elect of God. Yes. So the elect of God will not be deceived by the mark of the beast. Okay. And the days will be shortened because of the very elect so that we don't be affected nor deceived by these things that will happen okay and it will be too much so god have to shorten the days for us is very elect okay so thank god for that thank you lord jesus because i wouldn't want to be going through all these things for a lot of days neither so i'm thanking god that he will and is shortening the days and it really feel like the days are shortening right now because sometimes from about a couple days ago i can't believe that the day is almost ending when i look at the time i can't believe that it's night already and after 10 p.m and i would just see like after five and i was I, I would be right like what is going on like like what you know even right now is to 2 p.m you understand to 2 p.m and i recently wake up so the days are really shortening for real i i feel like i just wake up about a hour ago and it was like probably after 10 and now i'm looking at the time it's almost to 2 p.m in the afternoon right so the days really feel like it's shortening right now yes and the lord god said he's he's doing that okay so thank God for that because I'm telling you, if 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 it's gonna be bad, I would want it to be stretched out with the bad things and be long with the days of bad things. No, I would want it to be shortened too. <laughs> you know, yes. But let not your hearts be troubled, people. I'm just telling you these things of what I see, of what is to come, of what will happen. The prophecy I have to fulfill of what the Lord Jesus Christ said. The prophecy I have to fulfill. So allow the persecution. Allow being a martyr for Christ. Yes, allow it. Allow um, dying for Christ. It's a good thing. Allow the persecution for Christ for for the lord's sake it's good for you being persecuted for christ okay it's good for you dying for christ okay bad for them who is doing it may god have mercy for them for they know not what they have done they think we are the problem when we are not the problem we are the solution is the enemy deceive them to think that we are the problem when we are the solution to the problem Oh my goodness. What this world coming to you? I'm telling you, Jesus Christ is so near to return. The day of the Lord is near. For real. So true. Because this world is evil. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> oh Lord of mercy. Mm. So, anyway, people. Be of good cheer, be of good courage, trust and believe in the Lord God, yes, and be ye saved and be ye get baptized, yes, repent of your sins, turn from your evil ways, turn to the Lord God, be saved by confessing Jesus Christ is Lord and that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, and be he baptized every one of you okay and be prepared and ready for the day of the lord so jesus christ love you have a blessed day